गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स एंड गुड इवनिंग ऑनलाइन व्यूवर्स टूडे आर टॉपिक इज एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स टॉपिक हेयर इज एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी माई डियर फ्रेंड्स द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल प्रेगनेंसी एक्टॉपिक मीन्स नॉट ऑन देयर प्लेस सो हाउ वी कैन से the implantation i am going to write and please uh, camera here uh, the implantation implantation t q i o n embryo outside the uterine cavity outside uterine cavity so here the definition is clear not inside the uterine cavity where the normal embryo uh, implants it's outside so i am going to explain what does it mean by outside outside so there is a classification here the classification first one is tubal the most common site of ectopic pregnancy is tubal pregnancy means fallopian tube my dear friends fallopian tube and ampulla ampulla is most common site of ectopic pregnancy why ampulla because fertilization take place here because pleca abundant here that's why ampulla and widest part of fallopian tube is also ampulla so my dear friend these are the question repeatedly asked so many last years last 5 years the uh, which is the most common site of ectopic pregnancy it is tubal pregnancy in tubal where is it it is ampulla and uh, why ampulla it is ampulla is the widest part where is the fertilization take place in ampulla so many questions here mcqs from last trip questions so now i am going to ask a question how much percent of ampulla ectopic pregnancy is so my question goes to dr lal singh how much percent yes he is absolutely right he is absolutely right answer is 80% 80% 80% of ectopic pregnancy in ampulla okay dual dual pregnancy another is the mass the most common main tubal pregnancy the rupture most commonly rupture rupture is by isthmus r u p t u r e rupture okay then interstitial 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 here represents it represents interstitial my dear friends the maximum duration maximum duration of tube of pregnancy is the duration duration okay another classification non tubal non tubal means not inside a tube not inside a tube spinal birth criteria and study fourth criteria study fourth criteria is for which kind of pregnancy where the embryo implant so doctor i will answer at the one He is right. He is absolutely right. He is brilliant on today. Okay, abdomen. This question also uh, they ask. Uh, where is the study for criteria for ectopic pregnancy? Is for abdomen. C, my dear guys, to D and in abdomen D, to D and in abdomen D that represents study for criteria. One also criteria. Spinal birth criteria here. Ovary you may learn easily. It's ovary. and non tubal site of implantation so many like peritoneum maybe pleura maybe inguinal any 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 reason which is not in tubes okay my dear friends maybe cervix cervix is also a non tubal okay another one is heterotropic heterotropic means one pregnancy one implant implant embryo e m b r y o embryo in uterine cavity cavity and 
another implant on ectopic second one any place any not in your terrain cavity so my dear friends okay my marker is working very poor another uh, marker i'm going to use okay so now we are going to talk about the signs and symptoms of ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy is it a pregnancy that's why what is the most common sign sign is here increase scg scg what scg it is beta scg beta means human chorionic gonadotrophin releasing hormone increases like in pregnancy here and what other sign here other sign is bleeding parvazinal bleeding is the most sign and pain 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 bleeding tenderness tenderness of adenexia cervix these are the signs and symptoms and so many other like nausea vomit but these are the most common then in case of rupture pregnancy what happen my dear friends if there is rupture means peritonitis due to this rupture pregnancy is peritonitis peritonitis and shock shock what kind of shock here hypovolemic why hypovolemic because due to the loss of blood hypovolemic shock shock and tenderness tender why tenderness because peritonitis that's why tenderness it's a very critical condition need to manage with surgery okay now causes what kind of causes pid is the most common cause tubal block tubal block tv tuberculosis history of ectopic pregnancy earlier ectopic pregnancy my dear friends these are the causes PID, tubal block, TB, and ectopic pregnancy like endometriosis, endometriosis, adenomyosis. I already explained in my past videos. I am going to <coughs> repeat again a little bit. What is endometriosis? Endometriosis means the uh, implant of uh, endometrial layer, not in endometrial cavity, not in endometrium. It's in some another site. The implant, the endometrium layer present on another ectopic site is known as endometriosis. But adenomyosis, the endometrial layer present in myometrium is known as adenomyosis. And I already explained in my uh, earlier video. So please watch that also. That topic I am not going to explain uh, so much. That's little information. Okay. Then investigation, my dear friends, the basic investigation, we see the increasing level of beta SCG. Beta SCG shows, think about ectopic pregnancy. If someone has a palm pin, a lower abdominal pin, unilateral, unilateral abdominal pin, we think about maybe ectopic pregnancy and see the level of beta SCG that time. So here the most sensitive specific uh, investigation of choice for unruptured pregnancy. Unruptured pregnancy is TVUSG, transvaginal ultrasonography. If they simply ask what is the sensitive and specific investigation is transvaginal ultrasonography. Earlier they already asked in past last five year MCQs in US assembly and every exams like AIMS. DNB etc. Okay, but for a ruptured pregnancy treatment investigation of choice, my question goes to Dr. Emily again. Yes, he is brilliant today. He is answering very well done. Laparoscopy, laparoscopy. Why laparoscopy? Because in a ruptured case of pregnancy, laparoscopy with the help of we can see the pregnancy also ruptured and we can do the surgical procedure with the help of laparoscopy. So it is the gold standard, gold standard and a better method. Okay, now we think about if there is ectopic pregnancy, we never go first step of 
surgery firstly go for conservative treatment if you think the conservative treatment is best so what is the drug of choice drug of choice or uh, we can say use so many drugs but is the most best drug i say best drug is methotrexate methotrexate m e t h o t r a x a t e methotrexate methotrexate brand name is polytrex available in a market in this drug methotrexate we are going to use in rheumatoid arthritis also my dear friends and so many autoimmune disorders but here also it plays a very good role and we can use another drugs like prostaglandins prostaglandins why prostaglandins because pain 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 that's why okay actinomycin actinomycin drug fun we can use potassium chloride also we can use ru486 ru486 the his name ru486 another name is mefepristone mefepristone so many times they ask what is ru486 ru486 means mefepristone how to treat ectopic pregnancy is methotrexate or they can ask accept accept one these three questions uh, three of them will present one smother but here i already told methotrexate prostaglandins actinomycin potassium chloride ru486 and mefepristone is same okay surgery surgery is indicated for ruptured cases when patient is hemodynamically unstable so my dear friends i will say one example i last uh, week yeah i uh, remember in ot when i am i saw a case of ectopic pregnancy up female uh, ruptured ectopic pregnancy but that pregnancy is on isthmus as i told the most common ruptured area is isthmus and i saw and during that time i am standing with her an anesthesiologist also and that lady already in a shock hypovolemic shock that's why we took a step and we give her fluid balance and when her blood came we start uh, transfusion of blood so here the most important thing is blood loss so we need to give a blood transfusion and then that anesthesiologist uh, see his vitals her bp is 40 60 by 40 60 systolic and 40 is diastolic then that time he decided not to do uh, this ectopic uh, pregnancy treatment uh, with uh, anesthesia like spinal and epidural why because spinal and epidural causes the the pressure hypotension and she is already in hypotension so what we are going to use in that we are using general anesthesia in general anesthesia we are using here ketamine ketamine with him ketamine because ketamine don't causes the hypotension it causes a hypertension it is very safe in asthma also so that time we use uh, ketamine and we save her life and that uh, surgery is successful so my dear friends i think you all understand this topic i hope you are going to get so many mcqs from this this is our the summary and i am very glad and happy if you like my video please uh, don't forget to subscribe and if you like please put like on it and if you have any questions any query you can write on comments i am ready to answer your questions always okay my dear friends have a good day good night take care goodbye my dear friends okay thank you